Gallic chums, France, hosted a perfectly reasonable World Cup. Wait a minute, he's taking another card out. For Beckham, it's a red card for David Beckham. But Beckham seemed to want no part of it. But a mega scandal would rear its ugly head in the very last game. Well, the Brazil France final, it was almost like an Enid Blyton novel, you know, it was the mystery of the missing hero. Uh, the team sheet was put out an hour before, before kickoff. And Edmundo was in and Ronaldo was out. But then 15 minutes later, all of a sudden, Ronaldo has taken his place. Ronaldo obviously was out of sorts. He just wasn't himself. He looked into his eyes when they played the national anthems and he'd gone. He had bags under his eyes, great big rings as they'd been using in an Eric Morkham telescope. There was something badly wrong with Ronaldo. The only thing that stopped him looking like he's just come out of the dentist is the fact that he palpably hasn't had his teeth done. Anyway, the, the game goes ahead and Ronaldo's on the pitch and he never looked like he was in the match at all. Dunga picking up anything that's loose in the midfield and they're always looking for him. And still Ronaldo's not had a touch. Not only has he not had a touch, Brian, you can tell he's got a problem because he's just so uneasy on his feet. He totally froze. It's like a man having a mental breakdown in front of millions of people. He looked like he was on some sort of medication. I mean, it just looked like he shouldn't have been out there. Ronaldo. That easily beaten. That wasn't uh, vintage Ronaldo by a long way. I bet Brazil wish he had been left out because he played like a pile of cack for an hour and a half. And rumours abounded as to what had happened. You know, first of all, we were told he'd had a fit on the floor. There was, there was talk about pressure off the pitch, he hadn't slept and having panic attacks and epileptic fits. There was talk of Nike putting pressure on the Brazilians to put him back in the team because they were his major sponsor and it would have been a huge financial blow. Later, a high-level investigation found no evidence against the sponsors. I think Nike would have wanted him to play, but I'm damn sure that um, Zagallo would have wanted him to play as well and I'm pretty sure that the players would have wanted him to play. Well, I was there too! Mind you, they might not have been so happy when a full-time whistle went. Yeah, playing it in again for Petit. And it's another one! It's 3-0! And France are the new world champions! The whole situation was a complete and utter farce. South Korea and Japan, 2002, meet the football fan equivalent of the Moonies. And in a bid to keep everything nice and smiley, FIFA tinkered with the rules yet again. The FIFA ruling on the tackle from behind allows the referee no room for manoeuvre at all. That, the ability to kind of exert your discretion as an official, that's gone. FIFA's master plan would backfire in gloriously gory style when Germany met the indomitable and frankly filthy Lions of Cameroon. They'll do well, they'll put a smile on their face, but if the tackles do have to come in, they'll put them in, don't worry about that. Armed with FIFA's new rules, the fall guy was this poor clot. His name, Antonio Lopez Nieto. He was a busy man, right from the word go, really. Cameroon can now get it clear with Laurent. That is a late challenge by Balak in the opinion of Lopez Nieto, who's booked like the Balak. Well, that's four in the book, and we've played just over half an hour. The game was a poor game, and it was just made even worse by the fact that the referee was just blowing up for, for everything. Boot raised by Carsten Janka. Still Germany on the offensive. This is going to be another card. They're coming thick and fast. He's going to get a yellow card here as well. The match quickly descended into farce as the cards popped out like confetti. Wonderful run from Eto, and he's clipped and brought down by Ramelo, who has been booked, and now Carsten Ramelo is dismissed. 14 yellow cards, two players got sent off. We have to ask what the referee was doing. Some of them are malicious, others were just unfortunate. But he just booked everybody regardless. It's Balak, who is caught. It's the most cards ever given out a World Cup game. The geezer was just, he was just non-stop. Apparently he works at Clinton's now. The Germans won the game, but with 18 cards won every five minutes, FIFA got anything but the free-flowing football they'd planned. Yes, I don't think we'll see this referee in the final. <laughs> Oddly enough, Nieto didn't get to the final. This man, Brazilian Rivaldo, did, inspiring his team with his performances. Rivaldo! Delighting his fans. Brazil lead! Debatable, that you know. And surviving a vicious attack along the way. Oh dear. There's a hacking on Salis. Whack the ball and it's... 
it's hit Rivaldo. Yeah. Turkish player taps ball as if tapping a ball to a small child in your living room. Which wouldn't even have knocked his sock down, but it somehow hit a trapped nerve which ran up his spine and gave him severe concussion. So first of all he grabs his leg, then he grabs his chest, then he grabs his head like he's been shot in the head. And he actually at one point kind of like done a little sly look to see, is it working? I don't know how badly hurt Rivaldo really is. Let's see. Oh, that didn't hurt. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What a great player he is. And what a ridiculous reaction. The poor Turkish player, he gets sent off. And Rivaldo, all of a sudden, is back on his feet again. Never mind FIFA, he should get a bath to the geezer. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Well, Rivaldo has besmirched what has been a glorious exhibition. But he didn't care. His performance earned him man of the match and later a wallet-draining £5,000 FIFA fine for simulation. Or, to you and me, big cheat. Big cheat.